Good morning. This is a little helpful video. Uh, I'm going to post along with uh, today's little quiz or today's work. Uh, we haven't done a lot of tangents, so I'm going to try a tangent. I've set it up as a difference. You can see there's subtraction on top, there's addition on the bottom. Follow that format. Um, I'm also going to explain to you later on uh, how if you see something in this format, what they're asking you to do is go backward, show this, simplify what's in the parentheses. This one you can't. That's why you have to use the, the difference identity. Um, but on the, on the quiz itself, if you do see this, you're going to go back and find something you can find. You can simplify in here and find on the unit circle. All right, so getting to the work at hand. Um, tangent, negative 45, I solved that for you, I found that for you. Um, it's just sine over cosine. Again, tangent 60, I did this down here, I found it to be uh, 1 over root 3. <coughs> so let's go ahead and uh, uh, solve this one. So I put in all the values, and I had negative 1 minus 1 over root 3. And that's going to be over 1. And really, truly, it's minus uh, 1 over root 3 again, because 1 times, uh, negative 1 times uh, uh, 1 over root 3 is still going to be negative 1 over root 3. So here we go. Um, you could multiply by the conjugate to give you the final answer. But I'm okay with this for now. Let's get to this point, and we'll fix this later on. Okay, what I wanted to point out is, if you see something in this format, um, just take this as, um, you know, make sure that you understand that this is alpha, and this is beta, right? And you put those back in here and you solve what's in here now. If you solve this, this is this is uh, negative 105. If there were a 105 on the unit circle, you'd be okay. But the way this is set up, you just see that it's a difference identity because of these two signs. Put it in the parentheses, solve, and you'll be able to find what's on the unit circle. Okay, so let's do uh, the sine of 105. Let me get rid of all of this. And I'm going to leave that little piece there just because anyone who might be a little OCD will get a little upset about that. Just kidding. All right, if I'm going to look for the sine of 105, and let's go ahead and use a sum. Uh, Let's do sine, uh, and we'll keep using 60 and 45. Uh, we'll use 60 plus 45, which is going to be the same as sine 60 cosine 45, right? It's our sum, right? We're going to add them together. Cosine 60 sine 45. We should know all these. Um, sine of 60 is root 3 over 2 times root 2 over 2. I'm going to add to it. Cosine of 60 is a half. And times root 2 over 2. 
And this is one of those uh, that you, you've gotten used to. This is root 6 plus root 2 over 4. That's it. Um, and you're pretty used to that. So if you saw something, if you see something, um, again, there might be one where you see it in this format, right? Um, you'll just assume, you'll just have to assume that this is alpha, this is beta. Put it back into this format here. Solve what's in the parentheses, and you can usually find something on the unit circle. They will not give you a problem where it's it's a, a, a value that can't be found on the unit circle. So, should be good to go. Good luck, guys.